Hola, so yo Vicky otra vez. Um, and today I'm going to do something completely different, something that I haven't done before in a video, but I I did say uh, a while ago that I was going to look into doing some, uh, I suppose you could call it a podcast, um, into some aspects of Spanish history. Because uh, I don't know about you, but I didn't know much about Spanish history um, before coming to Spain. And it's quite difficult to find out things about Spanish history. Uh, generally, my experience, you might find it different. Um, and probably because, um, I don't know, a, a recent, it's really still quite recent, like the Civil War and Franco, etc., it's not something that people generally want to talk about or, you know, it's difficult to get Spanish people to talk about it. Of course, a lot of the younger people don't even know about it because it's certainly not taught in schools like what happened in the revolution, etc. So um, anyway, I've always been vaguely interested in not only Spanish history, history is something that I'm interested in of all countries. And um, then one of my students, Jane, hi, if you're watching, uh, mentioned to me the other day during class about Adolfo Suarez. And I don't know if uh, you knew you might know about this, the, what happened. I sort of vaguely knew about it, but didn't know much about it. I certainly wasn't aware that the Baracas airport was also called Adolfo Suarez. So uh, she told me about the story of the coup in 1981 and the heroic stance of Adolfo Suarez. And not only him, there were two others as well. So I thought, oh, I'm going to look into that. So I had a look at it. And what I'm going to do is just tell you about Adolfo Suarez and what happened. And hopefully you'll find it interesting. That, you know, it's part of the history of the country that we live in. And um, I think it's, it's such a recent history as well. So it's very interesting for that reason. So as probably most of you do know, in 1939, Franco came to power and uh, started up a dictatorship um, in Spain. And, um, you know, uh, some Spanish people that he speaks will, will say, uh, oh, you know, it was great in Franco's time because there was no crime and there was no this, that and the other, which, of course, this is always one plus of a dictatorship. Um, and, and what he did, and I think it's quite ironic when I look into it, uh, as he was coming, you know, more to the end of his life, and he, he groomed uh, King Juan Carlos to take over from him. And King Juan Carlos at the time was in exile. And it's so ironic because he's just been sent back into it. I mean, what he'll be a fascinating person to do a podcast on because how did he go from being so popular? I mean, he really was so popular, certainly even when I first came to Spain. Um, you know, this uh, I think it all seemed to go wrong in the recession. Uh, after the recession, that um, he seemed to get unpopular. He did a lot of things that were just totally not the right things to do during the recession, you know, to look good in the eyes of the people. Uh, he, you know, he seemed to sort of disregard what was going on. But anyway, that I'm digressing now. I'll do a video on him another time because it'd be like, it'd be good to, interesting to see his fall from grace from being so popular to now being so reviled in Spain. Um, anyway, so Franco took on, uh, brought Juan Carlos from exile to groom him as his successor. But uh, he wasn't intending him to start democracy. You know, it's when, when, when Franco died and Juan Carlos took over, he declared that he was a Democrat and he believed in democracy and um, he was going to make Spain a democratic country. So, you know, that was uh, Franco's first, uh, well, Franco was dead by then, so he didn't know what happened, but he thought he'd, he'd, he'd died leaving everything sorted out. But of course it wasn't. So Adolfo Suarez, uh, he was born on the 25th of September in 1932. And he was actually the first he became, he was first of all put into power, uh, as a uh, prime minister, but he then later became 
because while he was uh, after he'd been put into power he then started to democratize the system and he oversaw the end of francoism and the legalization of all political parties including the communist party which uh, was very interesting and key in the coup as well later so and then finally in 1976 he became under the first democratic elections for 41 years in Spain he became the first dem democratically elected prime minister of that period uh, and you know so he he started he was a francoist i mean he was uh, this is uh, the ironic thing. He was a Francoist, and uh, but he changed and became in favour of democracy, just as uh, Juan Carlos had. And at the time, maybe because it was after, uh, you know, in a, looking at the rest of the world and seeing how what was going on with their de democratic processes, democracy was popular. In, so the people were in favour of democracy, you know, generally. So. They were in a democracy, and then what happened was Adolfo Suarez. Um, apparently, and I don't know if it's true, but it's just something that I read. He was better as a prime minister uh, at points of crisis rather than um, you know ongoing nuts and bolts of government. You know, some are better like that. You could argue that Winston Churchill was good at that as well, better at uh, the crisis management than maybe the ongoing nuts and bolts of government. Um, and so he resigned as prime minister, and um, they were uh, this incident happened um, when they were discussing and um, inaugurating, if you like, his successor, which was in 1981. So uh, Parliament were taking a vote for his successor. And in walks this general, uh, Tequero, his name is, it's a funny name, Tequero, T-E-J-E-R-O, -E Antonio Tequero, uh, comes in with 200 Guardia Civil, armed Guardia Civil, and uh, they start sort of shooting up the parliament. And uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to link you to the actual YouTube, uh, the footage of it. I mean, it's really quite sort of emotional to see it because uh, to think that it must have been really quite terrifying because they start, you know, just shooting off bullets around the parliament. And Adolfo swore and told everyone to sit down. And Adolfo, there were three uh, people there that refused to sit down, one of which was Adolfo Suarez. And uh, the other one, and it's ironic of who they were because he was a Francoist. Uh, the general that had come in, he wanted to restore the Francoism, really. You know, he, he didn't want the democracy. Um, and the three people that stood up to him were not the Democrats. Uh, they were um, Mr. Suarez, uh, Santiago Carrillo, who was the leader of the Communist Party, and uh, General Mayado, who uh, was the deputy prime minister and had been a general in Franco's, also been a general in Franco's army. So it's quite interesting, I think, that the one that the three people that stood up to um, this coup were not the Democrats, they were actually Francois themselves. So interesting. Anyway, um, they were then kept hostage, uh, I think it was 12 hours, uh, 18 hours. They were held hostage over 18 hours. Um, King Juan Carlos, he made a, um, a, an address to the nation and then all people came out and demonstrated for democracy. And I think in the end, uh, the general, re uh, general Tequero just realised uh, it, it wasn't going to happen. He misjudged the mood of the nation, if you like, you know, because um, the nation didn't want to go back to Francoism. Um, it was in favour of democracy. And um, so the coup was defeated and uh, Adolfo Suarez um, 
was instrumental in the um how can we say the the, the three men who refused to sit down initially um and stood up to these fascists though two of them were actually fascists themselves so it's it's really quite interesting now the mood had changed so much and also as i said i think it's very interesting that at the time king juan carlos i mean he was like god you know they he was loved and he couldn't do anything wrong and now he's reviled and again as i say sent into exile for all the wrong reasons so as i say I just thought it would be an interesting story to tell you about. Maybe you know about the coup, maybe you don't know about the coup. It's really quite recent if you think about it. Uh, you know, all right, 40 years is a long time. But, you know, if you think about how in Britain we tend to sort of go on about the Second World War, which was even 40 years even before that, you know, these things, these things are important to understanding a country as it is now. You know, we look at how Spain is and uh, its good points, its bad points. But to understand a country and to understand um, where it is now, you have to look back to things that have happened before. And of course, Franco, uh, even now, you know, there is an effect. The police forces are different, etc., etc. And uh, Adolfo Suarez... A very unfortunately, quite sad, uh, eventually had to retire from politics because uh, he did have Alzheimer's disease, um, which is quite sad, isn't it? Um, so he had to retire from politics and then from public life altogether. And um, I did not find when he died, but I'm sure it's on Wikipedia or on any... If you're interested in Adolfo Suarez's story... And uh, the legend that is Adolfo Suarez. Um, yeah, it's interesting. And um, as I say, have a look at the video that follows this video. It should come up. Um, the YouTube video actually showing the coup as it happened. And uh, it's very interesting. Okay, so let me know if you have enjoyed. This is the first one I've done. I probably rambled on like I normally do. I hope you found it interesting. If you give me a thumbs up, then I know that you've enjoyed it and you'd perhaps like to see more videos about famous um, Spanish figures to understand a bit more about them. For example, King Juan Carlos. I mean, he is, uh, he'd be a, an interesting character. Our current president or prime minister, um, Pedro Sanchez a lot of my students don't even know who the Prime Minister is of Spain no I think these things are important I think the country that we live in or we have an interest in if you have a home here if you understand the politics a little bit um, might help you to understand the way things are so our current president Pedro Sanchez he's an interesting character as well so I'd like to do um, just a short video on that I'm not going to do really long videos because I don't want to bore you basically so to give me some idea if you like it either put a comment in the box give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe of course now remember that to subscribe to my channel is completely free there it's not there's no charge for it just literally press the subscribe button and then you get the notification when any new vid videos have been uplift uh, uplifted <laughs> i hope you found this uplifting uploaded so thank you and i'll see you bueno os veo en el próximo video hasta luego.